Exodus 20, verse 3 says, you shall have no other gods before me. God is saying, will you give me your affection? So when we read the shall nots, we think of a tyrant, like don't, you better not. But shall not actually means it's an obligation derived from love. Should be. And so if you were at a wedding and the groom was just like, I want you to just love me above everyone else to the, to the bride, you wouldn't be like, how mean of him. What, she should walk away right now. She, he crazy talking about, you're just like, okay, duh. <laughs> Why should he even have to say that? <laughs> you know? God's like, duh. <laughs> Would you give me your affection? We talk about putting God first. What does that mean? Somebody tell me what does it mean to put God first? Okay. Seek him first. Okay. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that word, prioritize. Practice. Yes, thank you. So I think, thank you, Penny, everyone. I, I agree with all of that. And I would say that you're a Christian. Once you become a Christian, you're a Christian before you're anything else. So we're black or African-American, if you choose. <laughs> I'm black. <laughs> And this lovely country of ours has not always been, is not always so kind to people of our hues, many hues. Is that not correct? <laughs> I'm not trying to get on no watch list, so. <laughs> so something happened, something terrible happened, and your race is like fired up. And we blessing the people out and cursing the people out and we angry and, and me, I'm, I'm talking about me, maybe y'all are just like, but the Lord loves and we should love. <laughs> I'm fired up. You know, when that whole 2020 thing with George Floyd and Brianna, I was in New Zealand and New Zealand is the only place I've ever been that I didn't feel black. They got their own issues with racism, but they've done a lot. And it's not pr primarily black people that are the target of that. But they've done a lot. They've done a lot. They haven't said a lot. They've done a lot <laughs> to rectify those wrongs. But fired up. And the girls in the dorm were like, we're going to uh, protest. Are you going to? They want to do. And people were like, no. And then, Miss, Miss, will you go with us? Surely. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and we did. Um, but, and I'm not saying don't protest. I'm saying Christian first, black second. Christian first, woman second. Because um, how about this people ain't that kind of women either in this country. And don't be black and a woman. Now you just. <laughs> but I know black men are pretty beat upon in this country too, but I'm saying be Christian first. So next slide, the Priscilla Shire slide. So she got in trouble because she said that I am not a black woman, I'm a Christian woman who happens to be black. She's one of my favorite speakers. And she got dragged. And she then said, within the framework of the entire message I was giving at the time, my only intention was to make the point that no aspect of life should ever define the believer more than our relationship with Christ. <clears throat> that, to me, is putting Christ first. It's not just a slogan. 
it's a lifestyle. And so even when those things happen that stir up, you're like, God, okay, how do I approach this? I'm, we're not, what I'm not saying is let's not deal with, so, with social justice. Don't hear that. <laughs> what I'm not saying is that racism is, racism is okay. Don't hear that. What I'm not saying is that uh, <clears throat> the thing, sexism, I'm not saying that's okay. What I am saying is, God, how do I deal with that? Because God said in Isaiah, set the press free. Like, we are supposed to be in other stuff, too, but we're supposed to be dealing with it, but we're supposed to be dealing it from his perspective, not ours. 